We are going to make some dog treats today, aren't we, for Evie? Yes! They're going to be pumpkin and apple dog treats. Um, and we are going to cut them out, actually, with some Christmas cookie cutters because it's that time of the year. We were going to do this anyway, but I thought, why not film it? Because Rylan loves to help in the kitchen. So, without further ado, here we go. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a big bowl and I put a small apple and one half. It called for a medium apple, but I went ahead and I did one small apple and one half apple and I put it in the Ninja and just kind of roughly chopped it up. So, yes. there we go with that. Did you paint that? No. One egg. And then I went ahead and did this too. This is rolled oats and I put them in the Ninja and just kind of made like a flower, like a really coarse flower out of it. You want to touch it? Okay. And this is four and a half cups. Can I dump it out? Yeah, there you go. Good job. Now I have some extra here that is going to be... Um, that's going to be for like dusting the area um, so that we can roll it out really yes. thin. Evie will be so proud. <laughs> Evie yes. will. Evie will be, uh, will be happy with those doggy biscuits. She will, won't she? Yes. So here we have one cup of pumpkin puree. Now you don't want to get like the pumpkin, um, the pumpkin pie mix because it has a lot of spices in it, and that just would not be good for your dog. So, so that's one cup. Wow, it smells good, doesn't it? Yes. And our oven is preheated. <laughs> we preheated it at 400 degrees. So So I'm just going to go ahead and get into this with my hands because it's just hard to mix with a spoon. and added a couple more spoonfuls of the pumpkin because it just seemed like it was too dry so yes love you love you So now I'm just going to take some of this, of the oats that I ground up, and kind of just sprinkle along my countertop a little bit. Let me do it. So that, here, hang on. Just a second, buddy. Why don't you take your bracelet off and just sit it over there for me? I already did. Well, I just meant just sit it over there then. Yes, we got two groomers. Did you buy that one? Now, form it into a ball and roll yes. it out. Yes, roll it out. Use a little extra 
flour and flour my rolling pin here. Do it. Right, that's an if. That's an if, baby. Good job. Good job. Yes, anyway. Oh, sorry. Yes, anyway. Uh, we got our Christmas tree decorate right here, baby. Yes. Put your hands on this. Oh, this is fun! Yeah. Roller can right. squish you. Now we've got our cookie cutters. We're going to use a snowman and a stocking. And sorry about the hands. <laughs> and we're going to dip them in this so that they don't stick. Hang on, hang on. We'll try to dip them in that so they don't stick. Which one do you want, stocking or snowman? Uh, stocking. Okay. All right, wait, wait, wait. Let's go to the edge so we can get as much out of it as we can. Okay. Push it down. Good job. Good job. Alright, hang on just a second. Here we go. Good job. We've got our pan lined with parchment paper. Yes. So that nothing sticks. Uh -huh. Nothing sticks. You so touchy. Alright. Yeah. Here's our snowman. Snowman. Oh, snowman. Okay, go ahead and mash it down again. Good job. Hang on, hang on. Let me make sure it's all the way down. There we go. Because sometimes it's got to cut through those apples. Okay, good job. Just poke it real easy, okay? Look how good that looks, Bub. Yes, how how look it good, Grandma? Here. Good. Mash shut down, okay? Yeah. All the way. Okay, all right, let me see. Oh, yeah, that one was real good. All right, take him out. Take her out. Poke her out. Do you think Evie's going to like these? Yes, Evie I think so too. to taste. I think she will like these too. Good job, man. Uh -huh. Nope, nope, nope. We don't need any more of that. Alright. I do this. You want to do the snowman? Okay. You do my, my stocking. You do my stocking and okay. I do your okay. uh, snowman. Good job. Wow. Look at that. Wow, it's got a big chunk of apple in it. I bet she's going to really like that. Uh-huh, you want to make a smile on it? We can't make a smile on it. We can't decorate them. Why? Well, because doggies really, well, I'm sure she would like icing, but they really don't need it. It's got too much sugar in it. Oh. So we're going to put these in the oven for anywhere it says from 12 to 15 minutes on the recipe I'll start checking them at 12 and we'll just kind of go from there so let's get them in the oven yes. we don't need one we'll, we'll put these and do another batch here in just a minute okay put those in the oven are you ready all right, what I think we need to do with the rest of these yes. is make like little ball treats. Oh. Yeah, do you think you can help me do that? Yes. Um, okay, you just doggy grab. Doggy treats. Uh, a doggy treats is made of ball. No. We're going to make little balls. See? Put them in there. 
I would make one. Okay, here, I'll get you enough dough and then you make the ball, okay? Yeah. Here you go. Here. There you go. Alright, now make that into a ball for me, okay? Yes. Push it like that, and then you roll it around in your hand, but you don't mash too hard. Is it a ball? It's getting there, I think. It's a ball! Okay. Good job. It's a big ball. Here's just some more. Okay, hang on. Squish it together for you. There you go. I get in there. Yep. Evie wants to eat these. She's whining, whining about these. Yes, she. Yes, she's so sad to eat these. Well, good. <laughs> I hope she likes them. I okay. think she will. Good job, Betty. It's a ball. Yep, it is. Oh, we made a steering wheel for my car. Okay, guys. There we go. My assistant quit on me, so. <laughs> but anyway, these had to stay in for the full 15 minutes. But they're a little thicker than these others, so I'm pretty confident they'll be done at the 12 minute mark, but we'll see. Here's what they look like close up. It's the back. In the front. These pumpkin apple dog treats were super easy to make and I'm sure Evie's gonna love them. When they're finished baking make sure to cool them to room temperature and put them in an airtight container. You can keep these for up to a week. Okay guys for the second set of these the 12 minutes did just fine. These are a bit thinner and um, I'm gonna let them cool here for just a little bit. But I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I'll try to do another one of these with a different recipe here shortly. And um, if you can, subscribe. Hit the like button. All that kind of stuff. But I do appreciate you watching. Bye.